Greetings comrades, this is Amiga and Caleb. Yes, it's finally time. Sorry for sounding a little tired. I was doing some yard work earlier, it smelled like a gym bag. I've got some Duke Cannon, should be good to go. And I've been busy setting this thing up. That's right, comrades, I finally switched to HTC Vive. I now have an HTC Vive headset, more specifically, the Vive Cosmos Elite, which is basically the uh, wireless version of the Vive, which the regular version there taught so well, so I made the Elite version, which goes back to base stations and the standard wand controllers. Now, I haven't used the headset that much yet, but I'm going to tell you right now, this takes some getting used to. For one, the controllers are gigantic, a lot bigger than the Rift S's, I will admit. But they do feel comfortable, you know, they don't feel that obstructive. They don't have those giant rings, and uh, they're a lot smaller. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought they'd be a little smaller than this, but yeah, the touch pads work. And uh, just got back an HD VR. Yeah, so the trigger actually grabs the. I'm, I'm used to using the grip button for this. Oh man, the, the sound on this thing is amazing. Like, there's a lot of bass to it, nice punch when you pull the trigger. Yeah, and it's a much higher resolution, because you can see, we're not even two minutes in, and we're taking up one gigabyte of, uh, space here. So, yeah. Like I said, these are going to take some getting used to. They actually have two grip buttons on the sides here, which grip both of them, and they'll click. And no, no face buttons, no X, Y, or A, B. It's all touch pads here, baby. And we also got the menu buttons on top, which we're going to use for the arm swing. No, uh, yeah, there's no thumbstick, so I uh, can't turn like I would normally, so yeah. Anytime you press a touch, no matter what direction, it'll pull that beam out, and you can grab whatever. But the, uh, I will say so, and I, I pretty sure you can see the uh, monitor here. This is a cool feature here. You can actually uh, have part of the desktop float during games, so if I like doing like VR, like well, live stream or whatever, I could do that and see the chat. The kind of weird thing, or maybe it's just me, I haven't figured out yet, I'm still trying to get used to all this, but I can't click, like, on buttons, like, when I try to click settings on Bandy Cam here, it won't turn on, I'm not sure what the deal with that is, I don't know, maybe I just need a fiddle fart with some of this stuff, but anyway, and my help of the, uh, just was in the way, here we go. So yeah, the trigger grab stuff, so this is going to take some getting used to. Again, as someone who, uh... As someone who's been using, uh, Oculus Rift S for a while, I'm used to holding the grip buttons to hold on weapons, but no, you just press the grip button and you drop the weapon. So you don't... So I no longer have to hold the grip, you know, hold the weapon, which I kind of miss, it, you know, it makes it feel more realistic. But, you know, it's just me. But anyway, think, you know, touchpad does the same thing, you know. Does a fire selector, can disengage the bolt release, and stuff like that. Yeah, I know I'm not using a, a rear side, but whatever. Yeah, I gotta press a grip button to let go, so that's gotta take some getting used to. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm still gonna be filler farting with this uh, do uh, control scheme here. But uh, I guess while we're here, let me show you the unboxing video and you know little bits of me setting it up. All right, comrades, here it is. It just came in today. And sorry if I sound a little exhausted. I was busy doing some yard work by the time I showed up. And uh, yeah, I'm sweating as a motherfucker because it's like in the 70s right now. But anyway, here it is. Package of the Vive Cosmos Elite. And, uh, very nice little packaging here. Nice and simple, nothing too gaudy or flashy like most uh, graphics card boxes these days. And, uh, yeah, I'm much on the side here. And, uh, yeah, like here's an advertisement for Vive Port. Basically, uh, their own uh, VR service where you can download lots of different games on there. But, of course, I'm actually going to use this for Steam VR. 
New York game, right? Yeah. But uh, there's a subscription service, which uh, Vive Cosmos Elite comes with a six month subscription service to Vive Pro. If I'm not mistaken, it comes with Half Life Alex, which I've been wanting to play that game for a while. I don't think my uh, audio setup will do it justice, so I figured this might make it quick. But yeah. And of course, what's it here? Between one controllers and two base stations. Now, one of the gripes on the PC Gamer about this uh, video headset uses the uh, version 1 base stations or the version 1 controllers, which, you know, take that for what you will. You know, if you want like a fancy like finger track and stuff like that, you'll want a valve index or maybe one of the Vive Pro, something like that, but that's going to cost you a pretty penny. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay with this. Quite a few games here. A few of these games I've played, such as uh, Arizona Sunshine. What else? Like Tilt Brush. There's now a that free to play one. I forgot what it's called. And yeah, and Fruit Ninja VR. But of course, you know my main VR game, H3 VR. Anyway, let's go and take this out of the box. And, you know it is. This little giant sleeve here. Yeah, probably just there's no uh, bed sheets. I was cleaning my sheets, you know. I'm on vacation, and it's uh, been a pretty busy week so far. I had a doctor's appointment, doing a lot of yard work, and I'm still not halfway done with all the chores, but you know what? I gotta take a little break and show this off. Anyway, five. Yeah, four. I'd love to, in the past, I would have loved to have gotten a five, but you know, my first test of the course is the Samsung HMD Odyssey Plus, which, for the price, is okay. Don't expect it to blow your mind. All right. Bring this bad boy up. I'm going to download the live setup. Get that. And uh, see what's going to be. My quality inspection. Okay, so we'll, uh, certificate of authenticity, if you will. This is passed. itself. Very nice little design here. Or here. Let's check the connection real quick. It's like a... Uh, oh, that HDMI is quite cool. It's like a different connector. Now here are the base stations, which, uh... You're wondering where I'm going to be mounting these. I'm going to try to mount one up in this corner here, and the other, maybe right above the door over there. Maybe a little that away, so that way you get full coverage of this player here, which is kind of a mess, because again, I've been busy cleaning and whatnot. But I wanted to show this off, because I'm excited. Here, got the base stations. And here, looks like we have a... Like a, like a power adapter and ah, I'll another cable. Get it out of here. Ah, this is the uh, USB 3.0 and display port cable. So yeah, you can plug this into display port, which is good because uh, my display port is used for my Oculus Rift S. Got two more power supplies for the uh, base stations. Yeah, that was one thing to keep in mind. These base stations use their own power, so. Yeah. And base station mount is very handy, because naturally you're gonna mount them in the corners of the room. So they need to be at least head level. Work them to work optimally. And, instruction manual, that. What's in this box over here, but I think the head's there. Okay, I think it's just this. And of course, we have a VR headset. We don't have controllers. We are live on controllers. A lot bigger than I thought they would be. Let's put the grip button here. Trigger. Touch pad. And the button. Oh, there's two 
Google it once. Huh. I heard that. No, I'm not... Ah, looks like it doesn't use batteries. Looks like it has a, uh... Yeah, definitely Gen 1, because, uh... It's micro USB. It's not Type C, like we're all used to. Yeah, the controllers. Again, they're a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. And I, I never met before mentioned the HMD Osic Plus controllers were huge. And, uh, and more things, yeah. Two more power adapters. And I guess these are the charge controllers. Okay. Well, I guess you're gonna need another uh just the uh so yeah, that is the contents of the uh, FTC Vive box. Oh, keep saying Vive, I mean Cosmos Elite, it's a specific model. And uh, also, check this out. Okay. We got, uh, we got two stickers. Okay. And, uh, set up. And a little safety guy from Rolling Electronics. So that's the contents of the box. I'm going to take the time to set this up and I'll let you know how it is. Okay, so quick update during the uh, installation process. I just installed everything. The headset's connected. Can, oh, so the headset cable goes to this converter. The converter has a USB cable and a display port cable. Those obviously hook up to the back of the PC here. And what's interesting is that I thought that the base stations up there and there, I thought those would hook up to uh, computer itself, but they don't. They actually just, you actually just need the power supply came with them. Yeah, that one's a little jagged, but, uh, yeah, it works. That one's plugged in, that one's plugged in, it's still getting set up, just updating the firmware right now. Now, one, one word of note here, do not use the anchors that came with the mounting brackets for the head, the headset. These suck. Like I tried to get a screw in, it got stuck, it wouldn't go through. And I used the largest drill, but I could find a screw hole to put this in, but the screw still wouldn't go in. So uh, do not use these, either get your own anchors or just do what I do, just drill the hole straight into the uh, wall itself. I had to make a few adjustments over there. You can see two holes on the left over there. But uh, even hooking up the drywall, the screws put in fine. And uh, it's not like the base will be moving around a whole lot, so you don't have to worry about them falling off. It would be nice to use the mounting uh, screw anchors here, but like I said, these things are terrible. Do not use these. Anyway, I'm going to finish setting up and uh, play some games. And there you have it. Uh, setup was flawless compared to the Rift S, where I had trouble trying to get the beta to go through the headset. But I uh, don't have to fiddle fart with any like uh, updates for software or whatever. And uh, I do need to get used to the headset itself because there's a knob on the side which adjusts the uh, the distance between uh, your eyes and the lens, the IPD. I have it set to safety 7.9 for the time being. Yeah, it's gonna take the time to find a setting that's more comfortable with my eyes because I'm wearing glasses here. And there's definitely plenty of space between me and the glass in the headset here, so I don't worry about scratching like they have my other two headsets. But yeah, the main thing I need to get used to is the controllers. Because again, they're a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. There's no face button, so it's just touchpad. And you got, the triggers are good. The uh, grip buttons are interesting. Like, you have to grip both buttons for them to actually click. Which is pretty nice. And yeah, you see hardly any late latency problems because of the base stations like I said I have one hooked up uh, above my TV and the other near my door which uh, yeah no connection problems so far I do need to charge the controllers because they're about at 50% battery life I got them I was trying to charge them during the setup but uh, instead of kind of required me to take these out and sync them with the headset yeah sorry about that now I'm not quite sure how the microphone is on the Vive headsets, but surely it has to be better because we're trying to move on from the Rift headset. The Rift headset's microphone, there's nowhere to go but up. Hopefully this will make recording VR a lot more convenient and hopefully a little better so I don't have to worry about the 
and like uh, latency problems with the controllers and whatnot. But anyway, it's nice to finally switch to HTC Vive, though again, it's going to take me some getting used to it, these controls. Yeah, the boundary system, similar to the Guardian, a uh, little different compared to, uh, but for starters, the, the minimum player has to be six feet instead of like five and a half feet, like with the Rift S, so my initial play space wasn't big enough, so what I did was like, I cheated and like made the player a little bit larger, just so it register, but uh, yeah, I kind of cheated to that, but it's not like I move around that much while playing VR anyway. Yeah, and normally there's like a four, really bright line around the floor, let you know you're close to the boundary, but here it's just a grid, which is barely visible, but you can see it. And yeah, yeah, I, I gotta get used to these controls. I'm gonna be fiddling with HC VR for a bit, and definitely get some other games to try, see how they control. Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong with the HTC Vive, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, this uses uh, the regular base stations, the regular wand controllers from the original HTC Vive. But uh, I don't mind it that much. You know, it might be a turnoff for some somewhat like uh, more innovative controllers like the Index with the finger tracking. So not very innovative when it comes to the base station and the headsets. But to me, that's only minor. Though I did mention in the uh, setup that uh, the mounting anchors for the brackets suck. Don't use them, use your own anchors if you can, or just forego them all together and just throw them straight into the wall. Cause they're holding up fine. You know, I moved them a little bit. Yeah, they stood still. So it's, it's not like you're gonna be moving the base stations that much anyway, unless you're trying to update them, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. These uh, VR videos are gonna take a lot longer to process, aren't they? Not even 10 minutes, 5.1 gigabytes, because it's a much higher resolution. So maybe that's why. So anyway, this is I'm Giving Caleb signing out. Have a good day. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, I'm gonna have to uh, get a new VR stand for my Vive, because yeah, this is meant for the Rift S, because of these controller hangers. Yeah, if hold the headset fine, but the controllers, these giant wand controllers. Yeah. Don't hold up that well. So, I'm gonna get another uh, VR stand. Eh, just 30 bucks, no, no big deal.